The first application layer protocol we will discuss is the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, the HTTP protocol for web applications. One of the early applications of the internet that got public attention was the web. This probably was due to its on-demand nature as opposed to scheduled broadcast nature of other media such as radio and television. A web page consists of a base HTML file including other reference objects such as images, audio or video files or a piece of code. Each of the reference objects is addressed by a URL, Uniform Resource Locator. A URL consists of two main parts, the name of the host that is acting as the web server and the path to the referenced object. So, for example, in the URL www.sfu.ca slash computing slash research HTML, the part www.sfu.ca is the host name and the slash computing slash research that HTML is the HTML pages path address on that host. HTTP, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is the web's application layer protocol. HTTP is a client server protocol where the client is a browser that requests, receives, and displays web objects. And the server has the responsibility of listening to client requests and sending objects in response to the requests coming from the clients. HTTP protocol is stateless. The server in this communication does not store any information about the client. And therefore, when the communication is complete, it is forgotten. However, there are solutions to associate some state information with HTTP communication that we will discuss later. HTTP needs the reliability of data. Therefore, it uses TCP in the transport layer. The communication begins between the client and server with client sending an HTTP request to port 80 on the web server and server accepting the TCP connection. The HTTP message exchange that follows happens next, and the TCP connection is closed when the message exchange is complete. 